Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camping Tactical Nut here, and today I have a little surprise for you. Wait for it. Wait for it. That's right, she's back, ladies and gentlemen. It's Baby Glock, and today she is bringing with her a review of the Tarn 18 from REI. So stay tuned. Baby Glock here. It is so good to be back. I've just been so busy with like homework, dance, and all that stuff. Middle school orientations, which I am excited about. Yeah. Um, and so today I'm going to be doing a review on the Tarn 18 from REI, which I got for my 10th birthday. I'm about to become 11, so I should have done this review a while ago, but you know, I'm busy stuff and so um, we're gonna start from the back and work our way to the front so back here we have thickly padded shoulder pads and a back pad and I like to call these mini fanny packs <laughs> and so in my mini fanny pack I have chapstick which is candy cane flavor <laughs> I should say candy cane scented and so um, it's very breathable and it's lightly padded um, not thickly padded like these up here, but they're very breathable because it has mesh on it, and so uh, I carry this around a lot, and it is really lightweight with the mesh, so that is really good. And um, over here on the sternum strap, I like to call this the fork and the spoon. I don't know why, it just always reminded me of it when I was a kid. And so, um, has an emergency whistle on it, which is always handy for me because I get lost. Yeah, and so up here we have just mesh, po like an extra pocket at the front in case you want easy access to something instead of taking off your backpack and just going through all that crap, like junk that's in there. You can just easily just get it out and it's really easy to get. And so over here we have mesh pockets on the sides and you can carry like water bottles, maybe like gear that you want to have easy access to, like a knife in case you need it for emergencies. Um, and so, like, just like, if you want easy access to something, like I said, it's a lot easier than getting it out of your backpack. And so, um, over here, we're going to move on to the pack, like the inside of the pack. So, in the front, we have just... We have just a little zipper compartment right here in case you want you your um, like other gear to stay stationary that you don't want jiggling around the whole time. And so right here, which I think is the best addition to it, is a packing list which a lot of packs don't have. And here it says sunscreen, sunglasses, healthy snacks. We all know it's not going to happen with me. Lots of water, emergency whistle hat, first aid kit, flashlight, and a warm jacket, and um, right here it says this pack belongs to, and you can just put your name right there, or I would say Baby Glock, my YouTube name, which is, um, yeah, really cool, and the cool thing right here is that it shows you, like, pictures of all the things, and I like pictures more than words, so, <laughs> <laughs> and so over here in the big pack, we have just your average pack, which has a lot of bigger space than the one in the front and over here is a um, another compartment that in case like i said you want stationary a lot of gear stationary but i like to keep right here my okay camelback one and a half oh, i said it right one and a half liter bladder <laughs> and so um the straw runs through here and the cool thing that i like about this pack and i bet a lot of packs have this but um this right here, the strap, and it keeps it stationary so that last time I had a camel pack, not this pack, but another one, I um, just kept like just jiggling all over the place. It was really annoying. So, this is a really good addition to the pack. And so, that is really it. Oh, yeah, the zippers. Okay, <laughs> the zippers. This is the Y, Y, what? Y, Y, YKK. YKK. Wait, what was that for? YKK. YKK and this long extension one. And the YKKs are really good. 
because um, it has like I can't I can't promise you guys that it won't get stuck, but it has a less likely chance of getting it stuck. So that is a another really good addition to the pack. So um, the overall review for it on a scale of one to ten, I would probably give it an eight or a nine. It was really good. Um, and I like it because the straps are adjustable, and because um, I don't want to be lugging up a really steep hill and does it bringing me back and. It's just easier to have it be part of my body and just all of that. And um, the pressure straps. Um, hmm. Forget where those are. These things? These. Um, they keep your pack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They keep your <laughs> You can tell this is my first review. And so. <laughs> um, it is. It keeps it together. So, like I said, it's a lot lighter. And so, yeah, um, this has been my first review on the Tarn. It says it right here, so I don't forget the name. Tarn 18 from REI, and I hope you guys really enjoyed my first review as much as I did. I can see why my dad likes doing reviews so much. Um, and in case you guys want to buy this, this is really good. But the only downside part of it is it doesn't have a drain hole. So in case maybe um, it gets rainy and some of the water gets into your pack, it'll stay there and it won't drain out like in most of the packs do. So that's the only downside to it. But the other parts of it is really good. So I really suggest this pack for other people. And, um, excuse me. And, um... Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, it's good to be back, and I will definitely be doing a lot more videos. I am so sorry for being out for so long. Um, and so I will see you guys next time. So as always, be prepared and have fun.